Dobrý den, jmenuji se Janine de Brower, já mám 18 let, jsem Amerikan, ale já bydlím v České republice, jsem montroval v Pontevedra High School. Good day, my name is Janine de Brower, I'm 18 years old, I live in the Czech Republic, even though I'm American, and I am a graduate of Pontevedra High School. Uh, some of you may know me from high school, some of you may not, either way, it's cool. Uh, Mr. Roderick asked me to make a presentation, video presentation of my experience with Rotary, and so here it goes. A few months ago, my dad was talking to me about his trip to Sweden 30 years ago through Rotary, and throughout my life, he has told my siblings and I about his trip and how great it was, yada, 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 and even today, he is still uh, fluent in both Swedish and German. So he likes to find people at the most random times in a restaurant or on the street or wherever. If he hears them sp speaking Swedish or German, he'll go t uh, to them and start speaking whether that he knows them or not. So he's very proud of his language skills. Anyways, um, he was talking to me a few months ago about, you know, Rotary's been so great. Would I be interested in getting into it? And I said, well, you know, I never thought about it, but... In the past, I've had many friends from Rotary, such as um, Alp Baran Sahim from Turkey. And this year, we hosted, um, hosted Jignesh Gandhi from India. He's a great guy. I'm sure if you go to Pontevedra, uh, you know him. Um, he's really great. And recently, before I left, I had lots of Rotary get-togethers of kid inbounds. Uh, to come to my house and just hang out and go to the beach and whatnot. And so anyway, so I've always had great experiences with Rotary kids. So I thought, you know, why not? And so we called Miss Daphne, Miss Roderick. Miss Daphne is one of the head people for Rotary Florida. And Miss Roderick is one of the best helpers I've ever known. And they both said, you know, the application is due like tomorrow. And so... <clears throat> My dad and I were like, well, we really want to put in an application, so on and so forth. And so we asked for, th for like three days. And I think three days was the max they would give us. And so for three nights straight, three hours each night, uh, my dad and I would work tirelessly to get this application done. It is exactly like holding, uh, holding up a project until the last day that you can turn it in and then busting it out in three hours. I'm sure many of you know <laughs> exactly what I'm talking about. I know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, I used to um, procrastinate a lot in school. Anyways, off subject. Uh, we finally got it done, got it sent in with errors, of course, because we only did it in three nights when it usually takes kids two weeks to complete perfectly. So we had to take it back and finish it a few times. Anyways, we finally got it in. They accepted it for some reason. <laughs> and, um, and then finally the day came where I went to the first local interview for it. I think 55 kids went from the area and I actually did pretty well because they score you on characteristics to see if you would be a good Rotary Exchange student or not. Um, a good example of the United States basically is what they're looking for. And so they give you five choices. My first choices were Sweden, Norway, and Denmark, and my last two were Czech Republic, and for some odd reason, Estonia. I didn't even think to put a Spanish-speaking country, though I should have, um, and I ended up being chosen for Czech Republic. I'm not sure why, because uh, at some point, um, the, the head people of, of Rotary Youth Exchange even said to um, one of the local head people, you know, you should send him to Sweden because his information and his background match so well with sending him to Sweden. And for some reason still, uh, I was in the Czech Republic. But, you know, um, I was bummed out at first, but when I learned about it and now that I'm here, to be honest, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. That's just the simple truth. My family here is wonderful. My friends here are wonderful. I had no problem making friends. A lot of people say language barrier is an issue. To be honest, it's not. You know, teenagers are teenagers, whether you're in China, 
or the USA or Czech Republic for all teenagers and we all figure out how to communicate verbally or non-verbally. Um, and so my, my experience has been great. Um, I'm sure Ms. Roderick has told you either before this or she will tell you after this. I had a very rough time getting into Rotary because of uh, due dates and <laughs> all that kind of stuff. And, and I'm very lucky to be where I am right now. I, I was very close to not even getting a trip. Um, but Rotary is a wonderful experience. She wants to tell me, tell you, she wants me to tell you all about it. If you want more information, go to www.ryeflorida.com. It has tons of information. If you want to follow me in, in my like blog area, online journals, I guess, you can go to the same website, www dot ryeflorida.com.org sorry dot org and click on outbound students 2011 2012 and you'll find my actually my senior picture and you can click on it and follow me or simply facebook which i know we all use almost every single day um i put tons of pictures up on facebook you can find them it's in a little album called billum v chess Czech, Czech Republic, which is, I live in Czech, Czech Republic, and um, yeah, so it's a wonderful experience from a teenager from the same school you all are from, or maybe not, you know, wonderful experience, I'm having a wonderful time, I've made tons of friends in one week, it's so simple, um, other than um, school not being able to understand half the teachers, it's okay. Everything is good. Um, I have my slack line here, which is like a tightrope. It's, it just, you know, you can, you can have things that remind you of home. And so I am, I have not been homesick yet. Uh, this is going to be awful to say, but I, I don't miss my family yet because I've kept myself busy and uh, kept myself busy with hanging out with friends and doing things that remind me of home, such as swimming and tightrope walking and all that kind of stuff. It's been really wonderful. And I will show you outside to see my, the view from my room, but today's the first non-attractive day we've had, and it's actually been raining. Um, but Rotary's a wonderful uh, program. Everybody in it is the nicest person you will ever meet. Nobody will treat you badly, so on and so forth. Um, so I'm gonna sign out. Please, if you are interested, you can, you can choose five places for where you want to go anywhere in the world that does not speak English. And most likely, if you do well in the interview, you will be chosen for one of those places. And it's really a wonderful program. It's a lot of fun. And I'm enjoying my year. And it's only been a week. So I will talk to you guys later. To Darby and Kendall and Jigs and whoever else I know in this crowd. I will see you in a year. And I hope you guys have a great school year. All right. Bye.